Alright guys, so quickly before I get started with this episode, I want to apologize for having the same Black Ops commentary two times in a row in the same, um, yeah, in a row, the same Zombies map. Uh, I do apologize, my internet is currently done, I don't know why it's not working, and I have to go somewhere soon, so I really needed to get this video out, and this was only footage that I had on my computer. So again, sorry about this, guys. Um, I'll get back to recording some Minecraft, and I'm also going to be doing other games because, you know, I want to reach out to different audiences. Anyway... Enjoy this episode of Story Saturday, the one that got away, but wasn't real. So, everybody has crappy mornings, um, whether you have school, work, unless if you're a YouTuber, obviously, then every day is freaking fantastic, but whether if it's school, work, oh, I don't want to go to school, oh, I don't want to do work, or if you're retired, you're just lucky as hell, but, um... This morning, it wasn't about not wanting to get out of bed or not wanting to go to school. This morning was about a dream I had that made it so crappy. Now, it was, excuse me, let me get this rag off. Um, it was a great dream, all right? But here's the thing. Let me just tell you my dream. All right, so I dreamt the night before, or the earlier that morning, I suppose, that I, um, I went on a vacation to somewhere where there was a farm or something. Like, there were a ton of farm crops, livestock, stuff, and tons of stuff, like, farm there, and, um, I met this girl whilst I was vacationing, and she was the perfect girl, all right, now, her looks, I'm not gonna explain, because I can go on and on, but let's just say she was the perfect, ideal girl for me, she was nice, she was cute, she was everything, now, keep in mind, this was all in a dream, so, uh, basically, this is all true, the girl, she had an abusive father in the story, and me and the girl, we hooked up, right? So, uh, the abusive father, he saw us kissing. And then he took the girl and, like, put her in the backyard. And then, so what I did, um, I was like, oh, hell no. So that night, while she was in the backyard, because she didn't let her in, because she was going to, like, freeze to death or something. I went over to the backyard to save her. And, um, I basically took her back to my vacation house and like I beat up her dad or something like that and then like everything was going good we were a happy couple um there's my dog uh we were a happy couple everything was going great and uh so that's when everything when everything was good that's when everything went downhill aka when I woke up so I woke up and, like, I was like, man, man, I love my life. And then, like, for the first half a second, I thought that whole entire thing that I had just experienced wasn't a dream. So, I... So, anyway, uh, it wasn't a dream. So, what I did, it wasn't a dream, and I thought everything was great. So, I just started bawling. I just started bawling because it was such a good dream. And I want it to be true, you know? I wanted it to be real, but it wasn't, so I started, I thought I was recording freaking face cam this whole entire time, but my camera turned off, I'm sorry for that pause, anyway, it wasn't real, and I just was like crying my eyes out, and I was, it was just such an emotional morning, that's honestly all I have to talk about, it was, it might have, my dog is so annoying, it might not have been the funniest, but yeah, that's it, so, um, yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny how the one that got away was in a dream and wasn't.